Good afternoon, hockey fans. Chris Durrell here with Rotopros.com to bring you another NHL DFS video looking at the cheat sheet. I did one a couple days ago. Make sure to go back on our YouTube channel. Check that out. I kind of go over all the stats that I use and a little bit of my process. Now going forward, um, it's not going to be daily yet. I'm still working on some updates on the sheet, but we're going to be at least three times a week looking at uh, some early morning early morning for me um, out on Western Time Zones uh, picks for me as well as some new things I'm adding to the sheet. As you know if you are a Rotor Pros member or followed me personally before with my sheets for the last five six years um, the changes don't all come at the start of the season. Uh, it's slowly break in the season. I start adding a few things here and there. I do cover about 15, 16 different uh, sheets for different sports and, and stuff. So the, the changes come slow. So as I add things, I want to include that in the video just to keep you up to date on how I use the sheet. So let's kick off today. We'll talk about today a little bit, talk about a few picks that stand out and some changes that I made. So first of all, big news, uh, Carolina-Nashville was postponed tonight. You're going to see that here in red. I've deleted all the players from the individual player tabs so that they are no longer there in the player pool. Um, COVID-19 reasons, so we have a seven-game slate. So tonight we've got three games, Chicago, Florida, Winnipeg, Ottawa, and Washington, Pittsburgh, all with six and a half over-unders. Um, so that's kind of where I'm starting and look at even Buffalo-Philly in there. Uh, Philly, unfortunately, got embarrassed last night. By uh, by Buffalo, I was all over the Flyers. Morgan Frost came up with a big zero. He was only 2,500, so um, I would definitely go back to the well there. Um, with the Philly guys, I can see a bounce-back attempt for them. Carter Hart wasn't great. Elliott will be starting tonight. We'll get into that in the goalie tab. Um, so there's no changes to this part of the sheet. If you did miss the tutorial video, some of the things I look at first thing in the day here, again, is that over-under, team projected goals, um, and as I said, as the season goes on, these team stats are going to be a little bit more important each and every day. So we can look at team offense versus opponent defense, and we can see there's a lot of good matchups today. We've got Washington at a plus 20, Buffalo plus 17, Philly plus 15, Florida plus 29 against Chicago. Chicago's defense has been um, terrible. <laughs> Um, so we'll definitely want to target that again. Colorado versus LA is a plus 21. So that gives us some really good matchups to target tonight. Um, you can get into the advanced stats a little more. But that those are kind of the games that I'm going to be targeting that we just talked about there. So getting into some of the changes here. So first thing you're going to see is that we have, uh, it's not over here on the goalie tab yet. Um, but I'm going to slide over and you can see there's a new rankings and model. So it's going to show us pretty much all I'm doing here is weighing some of the stats, some of the stuff from this area of the sheet, and just kind of weighing it each and every day to kind of give you an idea of what what the stats are telling us and, and guidance. This isn't my own personal rankings. You can find that down here at the bottom. This is Ryan's top targets. Chris's top targets are there usually four or five times a week. Um, if I've got time, I'm going to put up my top top targets. I also highlight my plays on the sheet, greener core plays, blue are GPP plays, and yellow are value plays. So keep that in mind, um, that the rankings that you're going to see from this model are just that, rankings from the model. Um, so for goalies, we've got odds, shots against per 60, because that's important, save percentage, high danger save percentage, teams de that goalies team's defensive ranking and their opponent's offensive ranking and then um, you can kind of if you make a copy of this sheet it becomes editable for you you can come in then and start adjusting these rankings in the model however you wish if you think odds are huge and you're looking for a cash game goalie that's going to win you maybe want to put 60 percent on odds or shots against if you think that's even more important that a goalie faces a ton of shots up that in the model um, keep in mind with the goalies no goalies played more than two games, so the sample size is very small. This model is in beta mode, obviously. We're just testing things out right now. So keep that in mind that we're working with small samples here to start the season. Moving into center wingers and defense. Um, that ranking is over here on the left, the overall ranking. That's just the same as the overall ranking on the right. For center, wingers, and defense, I'm looking at team implied goals for the night, time on ice, power play time on ice, um, shots per 60, blocks per 60, combined shots and blocks per game, shot attempts per 60, scoring chances per 60, um, that team's offensive ranking, opponent's defensive ranking, and then power play versus opponent's penalty kill so you can kind of organize how they want the model that you're going to see each and every day is going to be like what i'm going to use for cash games i will go and i'll be doing videos in the future looking at models that i will use for gpp with more upside which is going to include things like scoring chances per 60 
Um, team implied goals maybe go up a bit. Power play time on ice. We want guys with lots of power play. We can up that in the model. Scoring chances is going to be big. Power play is something in a GPP model that I would adjust. So right now what you see is going to be what I'm looking at for kind of cash games. So as you can see, number one in the model right now is Alexander Barkov for centers. Um, Again, we talked about Florida in a good spot versus Chicago. They've got the highest implied goals here. Um, like I said, the offense versus defensive ranking is awesome. Um, he's right up there in scoring chances. We don't even have that in the model. So if we were to put a GPP model in, he's probably going to stay number one. He's got a combined. He's blocking a lot of shots. I mean, it's a small sample. Keep that in mind. Uh, again and again, I'm going to repeat this early in the season. This is a small sample size. Barkov is not going to average 5.6 blocks per 60. Um, he is one of the centers that we can look at to get some extra shot blocking, but uh, early in the season, it, it's a really good sign. So he's averaging five shots, combined shots and blocks per game. Tells me it's a really high floor. Again, one game sample size, keep that in mind. Um, but in the model, he stands out. Nathan McKinnon's number two. It's very, very close between them because Colorado, big favorite, 3.9 goals, um, highest Corsi, which is your shot attempts per 60, highest shots per 60, scoring chances per 60. Um, everything is up there for McKinnon as well, so they're going to be both elite plays. So I would just go ahead and call them core plays for me just based on that data right there. Nazem Kadri stands out down in the value range. Uh, Colorado's in a good spot. He comes in nice and cheap. These rankings also don't factor in pricing yet. So keep that in mind as well. If you see a guy that's kind of high in the rankings but lower down in the pricing, Derek Steppen stands out. Really start digging in a little bit more. Steppen's been getting a lot of shot attempts, a lot of shots. He is only 3,200 um, for Ottawa. Skating, line two, second power play. Um, he's good, great start to the season. Ottawa's in a good spot here, 3.5 implied goals. So that stands out as well. So keep that in mind when you're scrolling down that Salary is not included in these model rankings. So if you see a guy high in the model, um, way down in the pricing, he's maybe a guy we want to look to as a top value play. As I say that, I'm going to highlight Derek Steppen right now. Same thing with wingers. It's the exact same model. Um, the only thing that changes for me in terms of models when I go over to defense, um, shot blocks are big for me. So I'm going to actually take... Probably going to adjust this a little bit. Time on ice down a bit. Power play time on ice down a little bit. Shots, uh, I want about 20% on blocks. Actually, we can just go 40% on combined shots and blocks. So we're at 110%. We need to get that down to 100. Team offense, I'm not... This data here, I'm not as concerned about, so we are back down to 100 with the team offense and defense. But for defensemen, I'm looking for a high floor. So I'm looking for combined shots and blocks, time on ice, uh, shot attempts per 60, that's your Corsi. Um, the team offense, defense, I'm going to take out, and I'm actually going to add more to the time on ice. So I'm looking at team implied goals. That can probably even be taken down. Time on ice, really important. Uh, power play time on ice, combined shots, blocks, and just shot attempts in general uh, per 60, and that's going to give us a good read. So number one here, we got Aaron Eckblad. Again, back to Florida. Um, they are a big favorite, 165. Um, he, The team has a four implied goals. We got good offense versus defense. That's not in the model, but he's averaging six combined shots, blocks per game. Again, it's only one game sample size, but Aaron Eckblad just from the past is, is always a pretty good cash play. As you can see with the price in here, this is something I will do on the sheet, so pay attention to this as well. Is I will label these if one, if it's good for one side or the other. doesn't mean I don't like him on, on DraftKings. It just means he really stands out on FanDuel, as you can tell by the price in here. Cal McCarr is right there. He's $1,000 less than McCarr. Higher in the overall rankings, which is my floor slash cash game projection, or model not not projections we're not, i'm not close to getting projections up yet that's something we're going to be looking to in the future so that kind of goes over my sheet a few plays that stand out with the new model that i inserted how you can use the model how you can adjust the weights to some of these things if you create your own copy um, if you have any questions my plays are going to be highlighted throughout the day here coming up soon i'm going to be starting some audits on the lines ryan's targets uh, a little bit later this afternoon and my targets as well and then we're also going to have skeletons from both of us for DraftKings and fanduel posted in slack chat 
you're not a member to Roto Pros, get over to rotopros.com, get your free trial today. That gets you in um, for either three days on a weekly or it gets you into seven days on a monthly or yearly subscription. And if you use promo code RP50, you're going to get 50% off after your trial's expired on your first payment. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Uh, smash up that like button below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. You're going to get confirmation, uh, email confirmation or notification, as well as on your phone if you have notifications set up to when the shows go live. And like I said, I'm going to be pushing towards getting NHL to at least five days a week. Weekends are going to be TBA for now, but I'm going to try and get a video out every morning. Five days a week is my goal. I'm going to start with three days a week. So if you want to know when those videos come out, either stick to Slack. I'm going to I'll let everyone know in there or like I said hit the notification button on the subscribe below and you're going to be able to get notifications whenever the videos go live NASCAR is coming back soon too everyone so lots of shows coming up thanks for tuning in let's go get some green screens good luck out there